All right, well, as always, things keep changing around here. This project is now become something completely different. My youngest son, well, he wanted to make a tractor. I told him no because that wasn't fair to his older brother. You know, they can't both ride around on that. So he said, fine, can't make a tractor? We'll make a golf cart tractor. So now they want to do this as their first project. They've never done anything like this. I'll probably handle the welding and give them some ideas, but for the most part, we'll let them run wild and see what they create. Same concept. They're going to take this, put it under there. Um, we're going to mate it all up, everything. Those are the tires that are going to go on the back. They're already widened from a mud mower project. They're bolted on and ready to go. That's where they'll sit. They're almost, they're about an inch and a half on each side from being as wide as the original. So they're going to hook these up, put it all up under here. They're going to leave it like it is. Hook it all up under here. We're going to get it all leveled up. That's pretty much where it's going to sit, how it is right there. Let me back up. So basically it's going to be about that long from front to back. Now it's going to look retarded. I get that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it open. We're not going to put the fenders back on. We're going to build a seat frame, put those two seats that I have in the shop on the front. And then I have another little small bench seat. That's going to go on the back like a regular golf cart seat, but facing forward. So it's going to be a four seater. So that would compensate for the long build here. Plus, my son wants to attempt to leave the mower under it and make it to where he can mow the yard basically on a big golf cart. Not, sh oh, excuse me. Not sure how that's going to work out yet, but I guess we'll see. Time will tell. Well, that's going to be it. Um, we're still kicking around a few ideas as far as driving. I'm kind of thinking it'll have a gas pedal for, you know, forward. Or, excuse me, a hand lever for forward and the gas pedal will actually work the throttle. Or, being that it's got a mower on it, I may hook the forward lever up or the gas pedal for your forward speed. And then leave the throttle where it's a hand throttle. That way he can control the mower part. Who knows, we'll see. Yeah, this is, this is where we're at. In this video, we're gonna get that up under here, get the front jacked up, get it all set and level, get all this hooked underneath here to where it will roll under its own power, everything else. And then we'll go into getting the front end lifted up, getting it all leveled up. I mean, looking at it, you gotta understand that big motor is gonna be right here. So that being said, that plate right there, the actual frame, will be, uh, we figured it close to about three inches below that point right there, three inches down. So, figure that frame three inches below this will put that motor the top of the motor right up underneath this which is right where we need it to be and yeah we may have to notch out a couple things whatever but that's where we're going to be as far as that so this thing's going to be ridiculously tall especially for a lawnmower and obviously we'll lift the front end up figure that out Worst case scenario, it doesn't work out and we have a four-seater play toy, I guess is what you call it. It is what it is. They want to build it. I've never let them build their own project like this. So I got other stuff going on, lots of paint jobs. I ain't got really time to mess with it anyways. So I'm just going to let them run wild and uh, film it as I can, film their progress and keep everybody up to date with it. Alright, so we got the cart together half-hearted. 
Actually, all we did was took all the that crap out from under that, put the deck out from the mower, slid it all up in here. Actually, it's only holding itself in with the valve covers on the engine. But it is roller rollable. I don't know. Anyhow, we rolled it from right there. Straight out, turned it as hard as it could, and it pulled up here. It still has a pretty decent turn radius. We figured that we added 24 overall inches to the cart. So, center of tire to center of tire, I mean. So, the center of the existing axle, which is right there, there's 24 inches. Now, it does look definitely different from this angle. Definitely. Kind of unique, I guess. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lift that front and level this thing out, obviously. And uh, they will still want to do the whole mower thing, so we're going to put the mower deck on there. If nothing else, we'll make one pass with it. If it doesn't work, so be it. We'll just go from there. We'll take it back out and have a little, our own little golf cart thing. We're still going to do the whole four-seater idea, five-seater. What we're going to do is come off of this part back here, bring a bar out to almost level with these tires. Maybe about right in there from being completely out. Then build a subframe all the way up to here, to this front, so that would be square. Same on that side will be squared. This will stay here as part of the floorboard. And then basically I'll make a runner to go through the center and we'll frame, we'll put whatever, plywood, I don't know, who knows. Indoor, outdoor carpet and plywood's good enough for me. Whatever we put it, it'll be something sturdy enough to hold my big behind. Anyhow, and then right here, I wanna put hinges to where all this part will flip up so that you can access the motor and work on it if you need be. Um, and then obviously you'll have your front seats, which we may end up going with boat seats just because the platform will be high as that metal bar, which is actually a little bit higher than a regular golf cart. These little drop brackets is where your back seat bolts. So that's about level with your front seat. So it's going to be a little bit higher. So what we'll do is we will probably just end up going with a flat boat seat for the front. That way it's not too high. You got plenty of room. And then back here, I would say right in front of that plate will be the rear seat, which would be a three-person seat. You know, it's a seat out the back of a car. So, And yeah, that'll do it. Then we'll have a, for the time being, we're going to have a five-seater lawnmower. It ain't going to mow tight corners, but this is my yard, as you've seen in videos. As long as there's not, I mean, the backyard would be hard because of the fence. But there's no fence out here, so it should do good, other than about 10 foot in every corner of the backyard. Well, that's what they make weed eaters for, I guess. But we're going to try it. If it works, it'll stay like that. We can always remove the deck if the kids just want to ride it around on the weekend with their friends. Or if we just want to ride around and drink a couple cold ones. Whatever the case may be. And then just slide the deck back under it when it's time to mow the yard. If it works. Still, I, I'm on the fence. I mean, they've created something a heck of a lawnmower if it does work. But yeah, this is just a this is going to end this video. This is basically what it's sitting like. Get some welding wire and work on brackets in the next video. And the next video, I want to be able to drive this thing around. Um, completely drive it. I want to be able to, if need be, put a lawn chair on that thing. And use the gas pedal and clutching system or however I have to build it. I want it to be completely under its own power. And then we'll go from there and see what happens. Thanks for watching. Y'all stay tuned. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said in the past, I know it's ugly. I know it is what it is. It's something for the kids. Uh, 
the negativity doesn't really bother me. Say what you want to say. I already know all the bad parts about it, so I like to just keep things positive on my channel, but you're more than welcome to put your input, and I'm interested to see what you have to say. Y'all take it easy. We'll see you on the next one.